With June right around the corner, I decided to scour Steam and try to find some of the newer games that were coming out that looked really good. And I found a pretty good selection of them that's coming out. A lot of them coming out in the same day. So let's take a look at those. So the first game we're going to be looking at is Hearts Island, a short narrative walking simulator set in a beautiful, horrific Hearts Island where more than one million Americans are buried. Find fragments of how one actor ended up as one of the nameless dead. Explore temples and distant planets. Piece together a fractured life. Now this one hour narrative driven game seems to be an interesting one, but I think what really drove me to want to see this game or want to pick up this game is honestly its unique art style. The pencil drawn graphics are a very interesting take on any type of graphics that I've seen, and I wonder how it's going to be able to portray the environment and if it's able to even immerse or set the mood for you even better than what normal graphics would. So Hearts Island is going to be releasing June 1st for PC. Next game on our list is The Dungeon Paradox, a phase-based game where a science experiment has gone wrong and a group of soldiers find themselves in a setting that seems as unlikely as it is fantastic. Now, this game looks really strange and odd on the surface, but looking at the game mechanics that are going to be implemented in this game with its phase-based turns and you're setting up prior to the invasion, making sure that you have every corner covered, I think this is going to be a really fun game and a really tactical one for those people who like to plan out every scenario and try to cover every base that they can. So I see this more or less being a hidden gem, something that maybe a few people are going to like, but not a lot of people, but it'll soon grow onto others and they'll start playing this game in a couple months time. So the Dungeon Paradox will be releasing June 2nd for the PC. Now the next game on the list is for all you horror fans. Enchantress is a first person psychological thriller game inspired by Never Again and Town of Light. You play as Megan Sterling, the newest child to the White Rose Orphanage during the 1930s. White Rose holds many dark secrets under a care of a twisted matron. A crimson tale has been left behind that must be uncovered through exploring the orphanage before Mother finds you herself. Now this game is actually made by a single developer, Kyle Cornwall, and I think the reason why I wanted to showcase this game is this is actually his final major university project, and he did everything, level, story, programming, and I love to see brand new developers and see what they're going to be bringing to the table for gaming. And I always love to see if they're going to, you know, stick with indie games and do their own thing, or if they may join a major developer. And from what this game looks like, all the way from its graphics to its gameplay, it looks like it's going to be quite immersive and honestly very atmospheric. So I'm always excited to play this one. Enchantress will be released June 3rd for PC. What if you were thrown into the open world full of resources and lives? What if you would live on a planet where you were the one who began civilization? What if you could do anything you've ever dreamed of? What if you could get to know these places? Let me tell you, it's right ahead of you. Craftopia is a brand new crafting game that takes influences from many major crafting games and blends them together. Experiences the best crafting, hack and slash, automation, survival, and a variety of other elements melded together in the best of games with people from all over the world. Now, Craftopia is a very ambitious game, and of course I would be lying if I didn't say I had my doubts, but looking at the game and looking at a lot of the gameplay footage that's out there, this looks like it has a lot of promising hope to it, and it looks like it'll be a game that a lot of people are going to love. It's it's colorful and bright environments, also with its fighting mechanics and crafting. It seems like there's a lot for everybody to do and for anybody to jump in with their friends and create these amazing things. I mean, looking at some of the things, you can have hoverboards, tanks, you can have these weird automated tree cutters. It seems like really the opportunity of crafting things is honestly limited by your imagination. And it's really going to be interesting to see what type of communities or cities or civilizations that people build in this game. So if you are interested in Craftopia, it's going to be released June 3rd for the PC. Number five on the list is going to be Sentimental K, which combines 3D action genre to provide a more dynamic and intuitive play experience, along with a roguelike genre that will ensure new and unexpected experiences every time. And what really caught my eye on this game is the fluidity of its combat. It looks really smooth. It looks like a lot of fun. And a lot of roguelikes I've been getting into lately have been fantastic. And I was never once a roguelike fan at all until I started doing this channel. So to see one like this with its massive hordes and its awesome combo styles, this one really got me excited. So keep your eye out for Sentimental K on June 5th for PC. 
Next game on our list is for you Metroidvania people. Weapon Hacker has you hack and scavenge parts for custom made weapons and explore or shred your way through a multiverse of infested weapon facilities. Now, this game has unique facilities each time you play through, so it's got more of a roguelike to it. But to be honest, I think what really is an interesting part of this game is, is while you go through, you pick up all your weapon parts and you can end up combining them to your gun and make different variations of it. So you could have a shotgun one time, a minigun the next. It would seem that every time you go and play through the game, you could have a uniquely different experience playing the game, which replayability is a great thing to see in an indie game. And the mechanic of actually adding new parts or custom made parts to your weapons to change it up a little bit, I haven't seen that in quite some time. So it's really refreshing to see that mechanic put back into games. So you can blast your way through Hordes of Aliens June 8th for the PC. So a lot of games are actually coming out June 11th, and the first one that I'm going to be talking about is Evan's Remains, a mystery thriller puzzle adventure about finding a missing boy, Evan. The game combines logic-based platforming puzzles with a narrative inspired by Japanese graphic adventure games. Now the gameplay is very interesting in this game because every time the player solves from two to three puzzles, the story goes forward and new mechanics are introduced. The challenge of the puzzle lies in the player's ability to figure out what to do rather than solve challenge-based skills. As the difficulty increases, the puzzles become more complex by combining two or more of the previously introduced mechanics. So this could be a very complicated game and I am afraid to actually play it because puzzle games kind of mess me up really easily. but. The gameplay honestly really looks fun, and I love the beautiful pixel art that's in this game. It's a very fluid, wonderful pixel art. So if you guys are interested in playing Evan's Remains, it'll be releasing June 11th for PC and all consoles. So for the next game, I have to give an unpopular opinion. I thought Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts was not a bad game. I actually really liked the crafting mechanics that were put into the game. Well, if you did like that also, maybe Main Assembly is going to be the game for you. If you can imagine it, you can create it. You're the engineer to build, break, destroy, and enjoy. Create robots without limitations, cars, planes, or giant animatronics. Anything. Once you've built them, it's time to pilot them through multiple sandbox areas to push them to the breaking point in challenge modes. I think the real interesting thing about this game is its building tool. Of course, you can build all these robots, but there also seems to be this very, I wouldn't say simplistic, but rudimentary programming tool that you can use in the game to create these robots. And with that much open creativity, who knows what we're going to get. We could get these amazing giant Gundam style robots. And of course, we're most likely going to get some of the lewd ones that will be in there too. So if you want to let out your inner robotics nerd out, you can play Main Assembly on June 11th for the PC. The next game on our list doesn't need introductions. It's Journey. Journey is finally coming to the PC. This critically acclaimed PS4 exclusive game. It can now be played by a whole lot more people. Explore ancient, mysterious worlds of Journey as you soar above ruins and glide across sands to discover its secrets. This game has always been a great one. It's always been a staple to the indie developers and to the indie game community. And it's nice to see that this one's coming to PC for more to play. Journey's gonna be releasing June 11th for the PC. If you're looking for a calm and relaxing game, Look no further than Beyond Blue, a single-player narrative adventure that takes you deep into our planet's beating blue heart. Set in the near future, Beyond Blue explores the mysteries of our ocean through the eyes of Mira, a deep-sea explorer and scientist. Become a part of a newly formed research team using groundbreaking technology to see, hear, and interact with the ocean in a more meaningful way than has ever been attempted. Now, this game's got a lot going for it. It has eight different dives where you're tracking sea creatures, unraveling mysteries, and interacting with the ocean. There's also a lot of big voice actors that are in this game. There's many documentaries that you can see about the ocean. So it seems like a really fun game, but at the same time, a learning experience that a lot of people may have never thought about looking into. So get ready to explore the ocean on June 11th for PC and all major consoles. So now let's go old school. Murder House has you set as a news crew breaks into an old abandoned home of an executed serial killer, Anthony Smith, planned to shoot a salacious haunted house story. But is the notorious Easter Ripper really dead, or is he waiting inside, ready to wipe them out one by one? Who will survive, and what will be left of them? Now this is actually the spiritual successor from the babysitter bloodbath. 
Of course, we've been seeing a bunch of games like this with its VHS PS1 style gameplay, but every single one does it very unique way of it and actually shows that games back then could have been extremely creepy. And I honestly feel like this is going to be a great game to play on one of those spooky dark nights. So keep your guard up and your eye out for this game on June 12th for PC. All right, so halfway through all the games now, let's go to a classic. Baldi's Basic Plus is actually going to be releasing, and this is the same old game that you've known, but they've drastically added a lot more to this game. It seems like you're going to have the normal main mode. There's going to be an endless mode and a challenge mode, and apparently field trip mode, where you play field trips found in the main game wherever you like, and you can try to set high scores or just practice. So it just really seems like this is a revamp of Baldi Basics. Honestly, they probably should have just called it Baldi Basics Definitive Edition because it seems like they're going to have everything that they've added into the game into a more compact series with a few tweaks here and there. So if you guys want to get back to the basics, it's going to be June 12th for PC. Now, the next game on our list may be a hit or miss for some people on if it's classified as an indie game, but this one comes from V1 Interactive. This is a new 30-person independent development studio founded by Marcus Leto, which some of you may know is the co-creator of Halo. It's Disintegration, a sci-fi first-person shooter combining FPS and real-time strategy elements. Set in the near future on Earth, the only hope for human survival is through integration, a process developed to preserve human brains and robotic armatures. You play a Roman Shaw, a former Grave Cycle pilot in command of a small resistance force still grasping onto fading memories of their human selves. With the domineering Rayani forces set on eliminating the final remnants of human society, it's up to Romer and his crew of outlaws to fight back and reboot humanity. Pilot a variety of weaponized grave cycles when command your crew on the ground by leveraging a variety of unique unit abilities and master your own personal arsenal to dominate the battle. Now, this game looks beautiful. It looks like a AAA title, and I don't know if it's just him or if a good portion of his staff did work on Halo itself. Itself, but it's going to be really interesting to see what they've come up with and it's going to be kind of hard especially with a title like Halo backed by your name so hopefully it stands up to what people are probably expecting but it looks like a lot of fun and you can play it June 16th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Now the next game on our list is for all you barn finders which is of course the game Barn Finders. Run your family business, look for valuable items and sell them at your pawn shop. Every item has a value, so collect everything and search everywhere. Now this game already has its kind of prologue out right now, so you can play that if you want to and see how you feel about the game. But this is going to be the full release of the game, where there's a lot of implementations into it, including like bid wars. There's going to be a lot of more locations. And of course, the mechanics of Barn Finders, where you find the stuff and you end up fixing it, cleaning it, and painting it to put it up for sale. The prologue's already been extremely popular, so I think a lot of people are going to be excited for this one to release. And you can pick this game up on June 16th for the PC. The next game up looks like an interesting twist on what the original Fortnite was actually supposed to be. Drake Hollow, a tower defense resource management game where you're protecting drakes that are these vegetable folks native to the parts and they need your help. They're hungry, thirsty, and need a place to sleep. They can literally die of boredom and you'll be building gardens to provide them with food, wells for water and yoga balls and puppet shows to keep them entertained, even treadmills and solar panels to generate power for the Tesla coils and the electric fences, as you'll soon quickly see that you need some protecting. The drakes aren't the only residents of the hollow. The feral have overrun the land, looking to shred anything happy or good. Battle them one-on-one -on -one with a wide array of weapons ranging from tennis rackets to nail guns. Bring your friends in to lend a hand and build your defenses so you can take them out without lifting a finger. So look forward to taking care of your little plant friends on July 17th for PC and Xbox One. Locked in the darkness of a coma, you dream. In the recesses of your mind, voices call you home, beckoning you towards the light and the void beyond. But it's not your time. Not yet. Walking is a uniquely personal journey of self-reflection and remembrance, combining a third-person exploration and real-world meditation. Traverse the twisted pathways of your mind in a quest to wake, and make choices that shape the unique individual experiences. Along the way, face your fears and desires as you summon memories of loved ones and do battle with those who would have you sleep forever. A really interesting game with a lot of beautiful character models and outstanding looking environments with possibly a fantastic story to boot with it. And you could pick it up June 18th for PC and Xbox One. 
Next up is for our space explorers out there. Starship Evo. Create starships of your dreams, explore vast and vivid worlds, and jump into epic space battles. Experience a truly unique and powerful building engine where your imagination is the limit. Welcome to the next evolution in space sandbox gaming. Now, this game looks like a bigger, possibly more refined version of Space Engineers, where you can create a lot of these giant or even to the smallest types of starfighters. There also seems to be logic bricks and mechanisms like sliders, rotors, and hinges for various sizes to create the wildest moving contraptions that you can actually envision. You know, there's landing gear, turrets, cockpit opening, or anything. So it seems like another great game to just let your imagination run and find out what you can build and see what others have created themselves. So look forward to creating your space fleet on June 19th for PC. Now, if you love Battle Royale games, but you want one that's set in the current time, well then TP Royale is exactly for you. The outbreak has started, panic ensues, the world is collapsing, and you need supplies. But first, you need toilet paper. And so does everyone else. You have to fight for what's left or you'll never wipe again. This game honestly just looks like a whole bunch of fun and just a big knockoff on really the pandemic that's going on right now and also with battle royales themselves. But this game's got a lot going for it. You can climb nearly anything. You can unlock more levels. There's multiple characters and skins and apparently you can find rare weapons too in this game. So it seems like it's gonna be really refined and gonna be a lot of fun. So if you need to make a TP run, you can pick this game up June 19th for PC. So the next one on the list is technically not an indie game, but it is an emulator. 3D SEN PC breathes new life into your favorite NES games by magically converting them into 3D and letting you play in real time. I felt like this was an important one to put on the list because I know there's still a lot of NES players out there who play on emulations, and this looks to be a very promising one where you can play in 3D now, but has good Steam input, zero input lag, save states, and dynamic skyboxes. And there also appears to be a VR version as well that's separate from this one, but you can also download that one, which will give you the VR version for it. I just feel like it's a unique and interesting emulator that maybe a lot of people will miss. And this emulator will be available June 19th for the PC. My Beautiful Paper Smile is set in a dystopian world where the Mad King wants every child to be perfect. Perfection to him is a giant happy smile that is worn constantly, never fading and always bright. You are one of the joyous, a children taken by the authorities, who has only ever known the facility and the mask that he wears bearing a smile that doesn't dull. The joyous are watched by the authorities and kept on a short leash as they are tested daily to ensure no other emotion populate in the subject's mind other than happiness. If sadness sits on their faces, they are taken away and never seen again. Join the joyous on his dark episodic odyssey as he makes his way through the world. Now, I do believe that this game's been out for some time uh, off of Steam, but I think this is the full episodic center for it now. So the game's complete and they're just releasing it out on Steam as a full game. So if you haven't picked it up, you can pick it up on June 19th for the PC. Two more to go, guys. And before we do that, I do want to thank you guys if you've made it this far in watching the video. If you did like it, leave a like. It lets us know if we're doing something right in these videos, and it kind of helps us be promoted out there in the algorithm. And if you aren't already subscribed, I mean, why not? You're seeing all these games. We're definitely going to be reviewing these games when they release to tell you if they're good, if they're bad, or if they're even worth the money. But still, thank you for watching the video. Definitely means a lot to me. But jumping on to the next one. Tainted Grail. Conquer Avalon in a hardcore roguelike mode or unravel the mysteries of the Guardian Merhes in a narrative-driven open-world RPG. A bold reimagining of Arthurian's legends, explore, make tough choices, and live with their consequences, or fight your way through the hardships. Now this game is actually made based on the board game of the same name that came out in 2018, which I've heard a multitude of things that some say that it's a wonderful but difficult game. So now they've created the video game for it. I can't really say much about this one because I don't have very much information for it, but it is going to be releasing June 25th for the PC. Brave the nightmares of the quiet ones. Do not panic. Do not breathe. 
Made of Skier is a first-person survival horror set in a remote hotel with a gory and macabre history from British folklore. Discover multiple story endings through exploration, a sound-based AI system, and no weapon survival tactics. Set in 1898 and inspired by the haunting Welsh tale of Elizabeth Williams, this is a story of a family empire driven by torture, slavery, privacy, and a supernatural mystery that suffocates the grounds of the hotel. Developed by Wales Interactive, with a plot crafted by the writing talent and designers behind the likes of Soma, Don't Knock Twice, and Battlefield 1, this game truly looks like it's going to be a spine-chilling game to play. And it doesn't quite have a release date, but it is slotted for a June release for PC and all major consoles. But there you have it, guys. A whole lot of games that are coming out in June. Can't wait to see and play a lot of these games. I'll see you guys in the next video, and have fun.